Hello there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So I'm just getting ready to plant another batch of lettuces here in my uh, let pot system. And I don't have any more of those little um, plugs that come with this normally or that you usually have to order replacements for. I don't have any left over. They're a little bit expensive, I find, to, to order. So I have come up with different ways of growing my seeds here without having to use those pods in other mediums. And so today I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my growing system here using some clay balls and some more of this rock wool. So as you see here with the rock wool, it comes in these cube forms. And what I've been doing in the past is ripping off one of the cubes, ramming it down into the to the net pot here and planting my seed in there. So instead of using a whole cube like this for each one of my plants, I am going to fill up these as high as I can get with these clay balls. Just rip off a very small piece of rock wool to, on the top to set my seed in. And that should be all it needs to germinate and it'll grow down through these clay balls and it should work out really well. That way I'm using only one of these to set up, uh, what do I have here? Eight different plants. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm just filling it as high as I think it needs to go. Putting a little piece of rock wall on the top, setting it into my water. I've already got my nutrient water all set up in here. The water level is just high enough that it is getting moisture to that rock wool. It'll keep wicking up water. I'm going to set my seeds on top of each, covering it up with the dome, and away it goes. So I think this will be a much more economical way to do this. The clay balls you can wash and reuse over and over and again, so they're a good investment. A package of rock wool like this I is usually you know quite a large piece. You can buy them in different uh, sizes, but I've been working off the same one that I've had probably for four years now. I'm getting down to just a few of these left, but with this system here, I should be able to make this last for several more years. And a lot less uh, waste um, at the end when the plant dies. I just have a little piece of rock wool to dispose of and can reuse these clay balls. Okay, so I have everything planted up here. I just wanted to give you a close up of how it looks. You can see in here, I've just set the seeds just right on top of the rock wall. The rock wall's got some moisture to it. It should be good now. And I've done spinach, arugula, some dill, and a couple different types of lettuces here. So now I'm just going to cover each with a dome. I will set up my lights here and have them closer to the the plants while they germinate and get the timer going. I've got a little map here of what I planted. I will probably put little pieces of tape beside each with the name of the plant that I put there just so I can keep track of it. So I just wanted to share this little idea of how you can use other materials rather than the, the pods that come with these systems to grow your favorite plants in. I think the clay balls are great because they're reusable. You can sterilize them and wash them and reuse them over and over. And I think once I'm done, once I've used up all the rock wool that I have, I probably will not use it anymore either. I think other alternatives here could be just a small piece of cotton batten or um, cheesecloth. I think a little chunk of cheesecloth would work good as a medium for the, the seeds to sprout in and then when you are disposing of the plant everything can go right into the compost pile. So if you enjoyed watching my content here I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and leave a comment, hit that like button and I will keep you updated on how my lettuces are doing here. I have lots more of indoor growing uh, starts to get going here so keep watching and I will keep sharing all my growing adventures with you. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.